Well, joining us here, and obviously this is slightly surreal, is Joanne Clegg, who of course we know each other quite well and you've been working for us for many years. But uh, didn't hat on today, this is you, you're chairman of the Manx Diabetic Group in the Isle of Man. Yeah. Something that you obviously is very dear to you because you are diabetic yourself. Um, yeah. The story, of course, about prescription charges, the over 65s and, mm -hmm. and so on, mm -hmm. uh, has, has raised concern with your group. It has, yeah. Um, our, our concerns are that um, chronic illnesses really, we shouldn't be paying for our prescriptions. Um, and the existing legislation is unfair. Some people with chronic illnesses do pay and some don't. But we don't believe the answer is to charge everybody who has a chronic illness. Um, and again, it's not really about the, the figure, the amount of money, £60 a year or £5 a month, which some people have said only that amount. Um, to us, it's, it's, it's more the, the, the principle of it. There are a lot of diabetics who are very concerned. They're concerned about the charge, actually. Um, there are some families with more than one chronic illness, for example, so that puts the charge up straight away. But the, the, the bigger concern is that diabetics might start to ration their own treatment. Not everybody will pay for the prepayment certificate. There are people who are vulnerable. Um, there are young people, for example, so sometimes teenagers struggle with the condition. They won't go and buy a prepayment certificate. They'll end up paying £5 per item, which can cost them a lot of money and then they'll start to ration their medication, complications will set in. So in the long run, it will cost the NHS more. I thought the way uh, the health minister was talking about the vulnerable would be protected completely. So if they can't afford it, they should be looked after. And Miss and, mm. and Breedcroft says, People can afford, you know, some people can afford that, and it doesn't sound some, too much to a fair well, amount of people. Some people can. I, I don't think that health should be means tested, though. And fair enough, people who are on benefits, um, the over 75s and children won't pay for their prescriptions but there are a lot of people who fall just outside that that benefits net who will struggle with with this charge and you honestly think people might actually ration themselves because they can't afford it and therefore put themselves in very much serious harm or even just it's not even a question of not being able to afford it i think as well there's there's the paperwork involved you've got to fill out a form to apply for a, a, a a certificate, an annual certificate, um, I'm told that there will be an appeals process so that if you can't afford that but you're not on one of the excluded groups, you can appeal and it will be considered. But again, that's yet more paperwork. And, and what we're saying is really, the department hasn't come up with a figure. They don't know how much this will raise for health services. Um, but, but what we're saying is that the, the administration costs of all the application yeah. form filling and then an appeals procedure. Really, is it, is it going to raise that much? So you, you want diabetics taking out this? I mean, should everyone, should they not be doing this at all, do you think? I mean, or, do you have an opinion on that? Well, I mean, I, I have my own opinion on that, which is I think prescriptions should be free. They're free in Wales, Scotland and Ireland. We keep using England as a model, don't we? Um, I've heard the minister uh, talk about prescription charges in England being £8.60 per item and we're looking at a, you know, a cheaper prescription rate. But if we're going to use England as a model, diabetics in England continue to be exempt from all charges because it's a chronic illness, because without this medication, we die. You know, it's, 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 as, it's as simple as that. Well, that's continuing in England, diabetics won't pay anything in England. Okay. There's a consultation period open, so you're making your views known, I'm guessing. We, oh, we are. As a group, we are. Um, we're appealing to the minister to, to think again, um, and we're appealing to uh, diabetics in, in the local community. There are around 4,500 diabetics living on the island uh, to, to make their voices heard. Um, we have, uh, we're, we're using social media to try and get the message across. And we did have on social media someone say that they would stop their medication in protest. Well, obviously... Whoa, that, that we, could kill them. Well, yes, it, or, or it could lead to, to complications right. of their condition. It's, it's absolutely so, not the right thing to do. What we're saying is don't stop your medication. Obviously, don't stop your medication. But get in touch with your MHK and, and let them know how you're feeling. There, there are families, vulnerable families, who are already coping with, with these conditions, who don't need this added level of stress. So we're saying to them, let 
let the health authorities know how how you feel and and how important it is. Okay, finally, if people are watching this and they didn't realise they had a support group, can they get in contact with the website or whatever with you? Guys? Yeah, well, we're actually we're just bringing our website okay. live. That that's that's underway right now. Um, the Facebook group. But, yeah, find us on on Facebook. We've got a. a Twitter account, so so yeah, we're accessible to anybody. So anybody who has any questions or, or wants any support, then do get in touch.